Hi guys, it's Mike from Lumen Lights, and this is the video tutorial on how to use our quad moving beam bar, which features 10 watt quad LED bulbs RGBW, which are individually controllable. It has two DMX channels, nine channel, as well as 38 channel, and it's got 22 built in shows, which some of them are running right now. And we're going to show you how to operate this manually in manual mode without DMX uh, and then how to hook up a second unit and basically they'll just link up master slave. So let's get to it. All right, so looking at the back of the unit before we get into the menu, we see our connection points and we have DMX in, DMX out, power con in, power con out, an on off switch, a fuse, and a microphone for sound active mode. Getting into the menu items, you have a four button LCD display panel with four buttons labeled menu, up, down, and enter, your standard menu. Now the first time you press it, let's get to the beginning actually, uh, the first menu item is D001. This is DMX mode, and if you see a D, you're in 38 channel mode. 38 channel mode, you have 38 DMX channels, you have 22 built in shows that you can access in 38 channel mode. You also have individual control of each LED pixel and each of the colors within each pixel. So that's 38 channel mode, D. Press the menu button again and you see a 9001. This stands for 9 channel DMX mode which lets you access the built in programs, the 22 built in shows and the overall color of the entire bar. You cannot change individual pixels in this mode. If you want to change the value, this is how you set your DMX starting address. Just use the up or down arrow buttons to get to the address you want to get. And then once you have it there, just press enter and you'll see the display flashes momentarily and then stops. Next menu item, AU05 or any other numerical number. These are the 22 built-in pre-programmed shows and AU is automatic program or built-in show. So we're on five right now, hit enter when you want to start the show and you see we've got some blue flashing lights individual pixels are turning on and off various colors it's switched to white now uh... if i want to change the speed of how fast the led pattern is moving or the colors are changing in the pre-programmed uh... program i hit menu again and now the display changes and says sp and then a number the sp stands for speed and we're at speed one right now which is the slowest if i go down that goes to the fastest which is speed 8 and then as you go down back down to 1 the program gets slower and slower and slower next menu item RP and then the word ON on or OF off RP stands for reverse pan now you see how the bar is turning to the right and turning to the left if you had two bars say that were parallel to each other and you want them both to go the same way, well you make sure that they're both either reverse pan on or off. If you wanted one to move one way or the other to move the opposite way, so say that they're sweeping into the middle if you're mounting them vertically, you would set one to reverse pan on and the other to reverse pan off. But this also may change depending on your orientation of the bars. You might have one right side up and the other one flipped around. But when you set up your shows, you'll see what you have to do with this. Next menu item. N and then three digits. This really is an M, but again, because of the lack of additional digit space, it's shortened to an N. This stands for the motor position. And when it says N000, the motor is going to be controlled by the built in shows. The 22 built in shows, uh, each show has different color combinations as well as motor movement. If you go up, as soon as it says N001, you'll see that the motor swung all the way to the right or left side uh, depending on how you're looking at the light. That's going to stay there. Your programs are still going to run, you can change your speed, but this is if you want to aim the bar in a specific location. And as I increase the value, you'll see the bar is starting to pan from one side to the other. All the way up to a value of 255 where it stopped at the other side. Now if I go up again, I can't go back up to 1 and swing it back down. If I want to come back to this way, I just press down 
and you'll see again that the bar is panning back to where we originally started and again 1 through 255 the bar will stay set 0 if you go down to 0 and hit enter to save it now the bar is going to be controlled by the built-in program and after that menu we are back to DMX 38 channel mode so that's how to operate the bar manually um, using the LCD push button display you can hook this up DMX and control it via the various DMX modes either 9 channel mode or 38 channel mode and for that look at the manual and look at the DMX chart so you'll know what channels control what uh, the last thing we're going to show you here is I'm going to hook up this bar to a secondary bar I have here and show you how they effortlessly link up master slaves so that both lights can be doing the same thing and we'll be right back after I hook that up alright so I've set up a second bar and got the power plug plugged in and I've got the DMX cable connecting between the two units now it doesn't matter one unit can this can, unit can control this unit or this can, unit can control this unit uh, just so you can see how to set the slave on here I'm going to turn on the back one. You're not going to be able to see the LCD display, but I'm going to turn this on and it's initializing. And I'm going to set this once it initializes to uh, built in program 5. So I'm going to go to my uh, AU program and go up to 5 and hit enter. And now you see in the background there the lights are flashing red. Now I'm going to turn on my second unit front unit facing you and that's initializing and this is also set to AU5 but now they're not linked master slave example I can put this up to 7 and hit enter or 8 now this is in program 8 this is not following what the first bar is doing now the way to set a bar into slave mode is to hit the menu until you get to DMX mode either the D setting or the 9 setting so watch both bars I'm about to go to D right after this is D there we go D now you'll see both bars are facing the same way they're both flashing green they're doing they're a little bit offset from each other but uh, they are doing the exact same thing and that happens even again if I press it and I have it in the 9 mode as long as the bar is in DMX mode, either 38 channel mode uh, on the menu or 9 channel mode, but they're not linked up with the DMX signal, they're just linked up master slave to another fixture, it will follow whatever the first fixture or master fixture is doing. So that's this tutorial, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. This is Mike from Lemon Lights. Hope to speak to you soon.